A year late because of the pandemic, numerous unionists have celebrated the centenary of Northern Ireland's founding, amid mounting differences between Britain and Ireland. And quite strong words fell then. With a one-year delay due to the pandemic, tens of thousands of people celebrated Northern Ireland's 100th anniversary with a large parade in Belfast. Supporters of closer ties between Northern Ireland and the rest of the UK, also known as Unionists, marched from the Stormont Regional Parliament towards Belfast city centre on Saturday with flags and marching bands. We have no interest in being part of a united Ireland, said one of the keynote speakers, according to the PA News Agency. The pro-Irish party Sinn Féin, which came out on top in Northern Ireland's recent general election, is campaigning for United Ireland. The formation of a unity government for both camps is currently faltering because the unionists are blocking it in protest at the special Brexit rules for the north of the Emerald Isle. The parade was held amid rising tensions between Britain and uh, Northern Ireland. Great Britain recently threatened a unilateral change to the Northern Ireland Protocol, which regulates the movement of goods between the north of the island and Great Britain after Brexit. Ireland's Foreign Minister Simon Coveney, on the other hand, accused the British government of sabre-rattling and grandstanding. According to the agreement, goods have had to be checked on the Irish Sea since leaving the EU. This regulation is intended to avoid a hard border between the Northern Ireland and the EU state of Ireland, which could fuel tensions in the former Civil War region again. Supporters of Northern Ireland's close ties to the UK fear alienation and decoupling. According to historians, May 3rd in 1921 marks the birth of Northern Ireland. With the Government of Ireland Act, which came into force at that time, a border was drawn on the island of Ireland for the first time. The southern and the northern parts were each to form an independent government. Unlike Ireland, which seceded to become an independent republic, Northern Ireland remained part of the United Kingdom. The question of whether the region should belong or reunite with Ireland led to decades of bloody civil war and continues to divide society today. The Irish government warns of an escalation in the dispute over Northern Ireland's Brexit status. As I mentioned before, Ireland's Foreign Minister Simon Coveney accused the British government of sabre-rattling and grandstanding. The British had previously threatened to undermine the Northern Ireland Protocol. According to the protocol, checks at the borders of Northern Ireland with Great Britain and uh, Ireland the, uh, should be avoided in order to prevent conflicts between supporters and opponents of Irish unity. In return, however, a customs border has been created between Northern Ireland and the rest of the United Kingdom. The British government and the Unionist Party DUP therefore fear alienation from London. However, Brussels strictly refuses to change the protocol. If the British circumvent the protocol, the European Union will see this as a breach of international law and threaten consequences, and it would be a breach of international law. The dispute over the protocol is currently causing political paralysis in Northern Ireland. In protest against the Brexit rules agreed with the EU for Northern Ireland, the most important party on the Protestant Unionist side, the DUP, is refusing to work in the Parliament of Northern Ireland. And uh, a few weeks ago, the DUP refused even to elect a Speaker of Parliament. The Unionist Party also does not want to join a unity government with the Republican Sinn Féin until the dispute has been resolved. But all of this is, is just a power game, as much on, on Boris Johnson's side as on, on the DUP side. They're both afraid of losing power and the DUP lost power in the recent election. But uh, the EU will not renegotiate the protocol. They made tons of offers about the implementation of the protocol, but the British side hasn't never implemented it properly. That is the biggest problem of the whole thing. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.